Hello everyone and welcome back. On uh, this episode series here I'm going to uh, clean my wife's uh, minivan headlights with this uh, um, supposedly it's a 12 minute uh, headlight lens repair. Um, so, but the bag doesn't say that anywhere nor do I see the uh, item number for it but uh, it's apparently a company called CCP and uh, interestingly enough um, it's a very simple instructions to it, uh, but apparently they do have a YouTube video on it. Uh, Custom Chemical Packaging is the name, CCP. But uh, I'll put the link to uh, that uh, video at the end of this video. So if you all want to see the uh, official video from the uh, from uh, Custom Chemical packaging uh, you can see it from there how they want to do it I've already taken a look at it I've read the directions and I've done some research on it as well so um, that's what I'm planning to do today uh, it's an overcast day so the lighting's not too harsh uh, as you can tell I've already uh, uh, washed and dried the lens here and I don't know how bad you can see it you, you can't really see the yellow here but you you may or may not like this there you go so now you see the yellow uh, you see the white on this and now you see the yellow when I take it away hey look at that it's bright and I show a little bit of yellow on here I show a white what, what a white looks like now it shows uh, the yellow color look at that wow hey there's nothing wrong with my headlights oh yeah yeah there is yeah there is hey look at that so this side is not too bad the front part right here is not that yellow, but again, you can kind of see it from the top, how, how yellow it is. See, it looks, looks clean, but it's not. You see the yellowing on there. You see that? So, anyways, uh, if you're all wondering how the uh, transmission fluid doing is doing, it's doing wonderful um, when I drive it. Uh, everything seems to be okay, um, but apparently when my wife drives it, it's uh, the engine is basically stalls. It stops on her. So uh, I'm back to kind of kind of square one. I don't know. Uh, when I drive it, it's fine. I just took my daughter to uh, karate class and everything, and uh, it runs great. Um, but for some reason, when my when my wife does it. Uh, uh, the car uh, stalls on her and the s service light is on so I'm gonna go ahead and order um, a code reader the code scanner for the car um, but I'm not gonna get one from uh, Harbor Freight because uh, if you read the reviews on the code scanner especially the one that's I think for 199 or 119 uh, you'll see you can order it online probably from eBay and get it for half the price so that's give you guys a tip on that so let me just strap you in and that way I can uh, do my thing here um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I already washed it as you can see um, cleaned it but I'm gonna I'm gonna take tape off there's a lot of these love bugs they're attached by the butt and just flying around it's that time of year so so I'm going to put some tape just around it just to just to make sure I don't scratch the car. It doesn't say that anywhere, but I'm thinking, you know, um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do that. Don't wanna, I mean, it's bad enough that my the car is uh, having its engine problems and everything on here. And I hate to see it get scratched up just because I'm trying to repair the headlights or restore the headlights, I should say. So. 
so. God, what is my wife doing to this car? She is just literally just breaking this car apart. <sighs> okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and tape it. Sorry I didn't tape this before. I should have done that before I started the video. But oh well. Oh well. That's just life. Just get some masking tape just to make sure I don't... Uh, don't scratch up the car. That's all it's for. Because I am going to be sanding this plastic here. And this is basically, this is not glass, this is plastic. So if you have glass, you can, uh, you can uh, skip the sanding part and go straight to polishing. But since this is plastic, I've got to, I've got to sand it down. Okay, here. Yeah, at least you can see. Somewhat, I hope. I hope you all can see. If you can't, well, sorry. So I'm not doing any detail painting, so I'm not too worried about it. too much. Okay, that's it. There we go. Put some of my new knee pads. And they are so comfortable. I'm going to be sleeping in them. Okay, there we go. So, just want to prep that up. I've got my two batteries all charged. It requires uh, basically uh, you could you could do a drill. So I'll be doing a drill function on this. And uh, it says to do a drill with batteries fully charged. <sighs> hope you like. Hope you all like my little light system in here. Uh, I kind of plugged in, switch, 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 <laughs> switch for the lamp and this, switch for this, that, so, I know it's free, so, uh, there we go, it's all warm and charged, uh, there we go, I'll just put this in here, so, don't forget it. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, okay, maybe a little bit lower. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. 
Let's see what we get out of here. So you get the 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 backing. This is the backing here that you put on your drill. You only get one pad, and this is the adhesive backing. You get two, apparently two. Uh, let me see, resurfacing pad, one for each side, and then you get um, the polishing. Let me see here, what do they call it? Prescription optical grade headlight lens repair. Uh, whatever it is, that's what you get. So, um, gives you some instructions here, um, some tips on it. Since I've seen the video, I have a good idea what to do, so I just ignore that for now. So, let's see here. So let's uh, let's put this on first. Okay, there you go. So first, my it's my hammer drill that is also a drill. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Just put it on. Great. Tighten that. So I recommend they use a corded or an 18 volt minimum to to do this. So okay, I should have put the backing on first. I'll go ahead and do that. So let's see how it recommends. So I got some new lighting in here, so it should be very bright enough for everyone here to see. So I guess I'll just work from here now. Oh, here's the glass. So, uh, I'm just wondering what my viewing space is going to be like. So, what it, what it recommends here is this is the sand part. This is the adhesive. It recommends that you squeeze here to open up the edges. And if you can't find get a get a place to squeeze, just they say just move around until you do. Until you until you actually find a place to, to do that. So there we go. And I'm gonna try to just center it somewhere. Let's see if I can just just center it. Hopefully you're all seeing that. Okay. Just you just center it here. Voila. So it's centered. And then let's check it. There we go. Now it's chucked. <coughs> chucked in pretty good. And then, uh, so I got a little bottle here. To spray. It says to have some of that. And so, um, I'm going to have the, the engine open here. But I'll just go ahead and spray here. And this is kind of, so just get it all wet. Helps uh, keep the plastic cool so it doesn't melt on you. And then high speed. And it's, it's basically three minutes of polish of sanding and slow mo movements, but not in one place. So here we go. You know what, I'm gonna, since I'm gonna hold it for three freaking minutes, let me put the attachment on here. Since I have it, I might as well use it. I'll make it quick. Oh, oh crap. Since I have it, might as well. Okay. All right. Okay, let's spray it with some water a little bit. I've got my knee pads on. Man, this is gonna 
very comfortable so far. Okay, let's do this. This is the really bad side, so. Slow and steady movements. This part's curved, so you just have to be a little careful. You don't want to put too much pressure on it, just let the tool do the work, I guess. Really bad right about here. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to get into those small little corners. But let's do it for three minutes here and see what happens. And it says if, it, if you see a pus or some goo of yellow stuff, that's the uh, sanding that's working. Some water. Keep it going. It's really bad right around here on this side, so I'm gonna try to focus and concentrate on this side here. It's a little curved area, so it's kind of hard to get to. I'm do my best to try to get all of it as much as I can. I'm probably going to do this side more because uh, this is the really bad side. A little bit of water. Squirt some water on it. Let's see if that helps any. Well, it's been more than three minutes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little extra more time on this side. Oh man, this is, uh, this stuff looks really really yellow on this side. Really yellow on this side.
it moist so it doesn't heat up too much. Uh, I'll say that's more than three minutes here but I said don't skimp on this part if you're gonna you know do anything not to skimp on that part so sure sure not gonna skimp on that part so all right let's just do one side here this is the worst side I'm just gonna spray some water let's see how it looks I know it looks a little kind of real good on the on the camera, but uh, of course uh, you did sand it, so it's gonna look cloudy when you do it. You probably when you do it, you're probably like freaking out, like oh crap, I just really screwed up. But no, don't worry. Uh, it says in the video, don't worry, don't panic. Uh, you you guys still gotta polish it. So well, if that's the case, then uh, I might as well go ahead and uh, see. Uh, and I put something white in here and you can see a change of color. See that? I know it looks good. Then you put something white and that's kind of how it looks. Uh, like a white shirt. Compared to my white shirt, it's kind of yellow. You can see that. See? Oh, look how clean it is. And then put something white up against it. And, <laughs> and no, it's not that. So, okay. Um, Alright, well... I'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll, I'm, I'll probably just do the other side as well, and then I can polish at the same time um, with a fresh battery. So I'll do this side now, and this side is not that bad. The front's not that bad. It's the sides here, as you can see. See the yellow, you know, my white shirt. As it picks up my white shirt, my white sleeve here. You can see how, see how, the difference here. really pick it up and it looks brighter 
Okay. Anyways, let's do this side now. Get it all wet, moist. Okay. I guess I should just go ahead and change the backing on this now. you couldn't just use the same backing but since there was only two um, I guess I guess why not this one's kind of getting all crimpy let's see if that's a, how hard it is to pull it off Ugh. not that hard but it is sticky that's for sure there we go maybe I can use it again maybe not so remember the tip is to squeeze here and to peel it off. There we go. Try to get that centered. Sorry, if I'm a little high, probably I'm a little high here. There we go. So just to get that centered here. There we go. Now we'll do this side, and I'm going to work on this side. The sides, the top is really bad on this side, so start here.
that's about three minutes right there. And, uh, wow. Whew. It's a lot of work. Okay, this is what it looks up. This is what it looks like when it's all dried up. It's all scratchy looking and everything, but that's all right. Oh. Okay. So, that's done. I'll take the battery out of here and let that cool a little bit. Take this one off. Well, let me, let me take the backing out of here. So, let's take this battery. Man, I'm glad I got two batteries, two chargers. There we go. And, uh, okay. Okay. So let's just take this off. It does seem like it's very hard to take off. Uh, Peel it. There we go. Just peel it right off. I don't know if you can reuse this or not, but maybe you can. Now put the backing on. Uh, I'm take this back off here, just, to, just so I can get a better, better placement on it. So this is the polishing foam here, sponge. And uh, this is what you use, and I guess you're supposed to use at least a, about a, a dime size um, in there of this cream, uh, chemical free apparently, and then uh, rub it up against the headlights here, and then remember to squeeze like this to peel it out. And uh, try to center it as best as you can. Trying to center it as best as you can. Excellent. All right, got a fresh battery in here, ready to go. I don't know if you need to shake this or not, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shake it just to make sure it's all mixed up. So let's put a dime size on this thing. Here it is, coming out. It's coming out, come on out. Don't be afraid. Now, is there something I have to do to this or something? Make that hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's a really squeeze it. There we go. Oh, man, super. I don't know what's going on, but uh, uh, it is just not. There we go. Come on. Up. You really have to squeeze hard on this thing. There we go. really have to squeeze hard. There we go. Oh. Squeeze hard, guys. Squeeze very, very hard. So, about a dime size of this white goop. 
Um, of course, you know, before you do that, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and wipe off all this stuff. Let that just spray that. This side's looking really better already. Of course, if you got, uh, this side, I don't know, <laughs> it's still kind of, I guess the yellow's, a little bit of the yellow's gone. Uh, a little bit of the yellow's gone. Uh, let's just wipe this down with all that stuff. So, that's all you're doing. Sorry if this is boring, but you're watching the full thing, uncut, unedited. And this side's really bad. I spent an extra time on this side, but some of the yellow's gone, but not all of it. But it's supposed to look a little foggy anyway, from what I understand. Uh, so I just wipe this off. Uh. Wipe it off. I think it's okay to leave it damp. Uh, it should be fine. It should be okay to leave it damp and wet. Just don't leave it too damp so the polish doesn't uh, wash away. That's the thing about it, you want it to be creamy. Uh, this side's looking good, but this side wasn't that bad. It was the other side. Uh, so it looks like it is. it does work. Some of that yellow over here has gone away. Uh, okay. There we go. I think that's good. It's not sunny today, so I'll just let it, just let it air dry on its own. Okay, so let's do let's do this side first, and uh, see what happens. All right, so it's got a fresh battery in there. Oh, gosh darn it! Some of the goop just fell off. So, all right, so it says here to, to put it on here and do it like kind of like this. Make sure you you spread it on there. Uh, where you polish it and spin it around that way you don't it doesn't fly all over the place so okay here I go again high setting and this is where the magic happens apparently and I hope it does this is the polish uh, concentrate mostly on this side because uh, this is the side that has the most yellowing on it. I'm going to go ahead and get more of this uh, cream and put it on this side because this is the side that's going to need it the most. And man, this thing is hard to squeeze. You know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it. It's only a one-time use, and it's just not coming out as much as I would like it to. So, let's see here. Let's see, utility knife would, would work really good on this. Oh, okay. 
Alright, well, if we get this, just take the cap off and just let's put this cream on. There we go. That's a little bit thicker. There we go. I'm going to put a lot on because this side's going to need it more than the other side. So just take the damn cap off. Uh, there we go. Rub it on here. Rub it on all different places. Okay. So I'm trying to polish. Just polishing it. Trying to make it really nice and shiny. And you gotta spend some good time on the polish because that's where uh, this is where the magic happens supposedly. If you want to believe that. Just keep going until it uh, dries up.
Oh, I'll leave that alone. It's gonna rain today or tonight, so I'm just gonna leave this kind of the way it looks because I know it's gonna rain, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, this side now. So just give a, just gonna give it a light spray. Give it a light mist. And let's go put some more cream on this. Okay, I'm putting some more cream on this here. Okay. Okay. All right. Put a little bit more cream on that. This side isn't too bad. This is actually pretty good. started on this.
All right, that side looks way better than this side. Uh, this side still looks pretty crappy, but uh, you know, whatever works. Anyways, uh, I might have to do some more polishing, but let's maybe even one more, one more sanding. Let's see what it looks like so far. I know this set right here is gonna look really good. I mean, I could tell already that uh, this side. Oh yeah, this side looks really nice. This side, it's a crappy side. And I guess there's a slight improvement. It's not as yellow, but it's still pretty yellow. Oh well. Oh, let's see what happens. I guess it's not as yellow as it was. I guess if you all want to take a look back to see what it was before, you can take a take a look at it and see what it how it is now. It's slightly better. Oh, that side was really bad anyway. This side, on the other hand, has really improved. Um, it's really really improved this wasn't the problem you know this side wasn't really as bad as the other side but yeah this, this side is really cleaned up if you're if you have a light um, a light haze on yours um, a light yellowing then this really does well uh, but if it's like really really yellow to the point that it looked like it's fogged kind of yellow um, really badly it'll It'll improve it, but it, I don't think it'll have it go away. Uh, so, okay. Um, let me back up and see if y'all can compare the two. Here, let me let you out. Okay. And uh, where's that white packaging here? So, you know, test it against the white paper. So you can see. So this side has really made a huge difference. Yeah, so this side has really made a huge difference. And I can actually see through this pretty good. This side, however, um, it's still foggy. And it could be foggy from within too. Um, but it's some of the yellowing you can still see some, there's still yellow there, but uh, at least it's, it's better, I'll tell you that much. It's not as yellow, uh, so you can see some of the yellow, just to give you an idea. There you go. So, let me back up, we'll take a look at both of them, so you can kind of, kind of see what I'm talking about. There we go. So if you if you look at it, uh, this is way cleaner than than this side here. See that's still a little foggy up here, especially right up here at the top. That's really foggy. This is this was not as bad, so it's really cleaned up really well. So it's it's better. Uh, the yellowing is gone from here, but it's still foggy. Um, but it's improved. It looks looks a little better, I have to admit. 
looks a lot better. So there you go. Uh, what do I think about this? Uh, it, it, it does work. Let me, get, let me come over here so it gives me a chance to see the lighting. The lighting's really good here. Um, it does work. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just that that one headlight um, on, on my wife's minivan on uh, this side of the headlight right here is severely um, <sighs> severely you know yellow uh, deteriorated or whatever you want to call it but it looks it looks better the yellowing uh, most of the yellowing is gone now so it looks better and I spent quite a time sanding it too uh, remember this this is a very inexpensive kit um, it's probably the very Sorry about that. Got a phone call, but at least it's not another episode. Or, or is it? It is. Sorry about that. So we're on we're on another episode here. So uh, well, I'll try to combine them together. It's going to be a bitch on my part, but um, this is a soft grit. Feels like uh, if I had a higher grit on this, maybe I could uh, possibly uh, would have done that side a little bit longer. Um, anyways, it, it's alright. It's better than what it was before. Um, so at least it's not yellow, <laughs> but it's still foggy. Uh, for, for the price I paid for this, this is not bad, and, the, and this is easy. All you need is a power drill. They recommend corded, but if you don't have a corded, uh, a minimum of 18 volts, which this happens to be an 18 volt right here. Um, like a thousand to two twenty eight hundred, like fifteen to twenty eight hundred uh, RPMs um, as well, which I guess it would be your standard drill uh, as an eighteen volt. So um, this this stuff was I may repolish, maybe that'll help. I'll, I'll I could finish it up, but I still got some left over, so I could. Uh, but just go ahead and just take the cap off because squeezing this through. Through this little thing, uh, man, it just wasn't cutting it. It was not cutting it. So I may I may repolish that side one more time to see how it comes out. Um, might as well go ahead and use all this because, uh, well, you're probably gonna you're probably not gonna use this stuff again. Uh, or maybe I could do it on my headlights on my truck. Uh, that could be possible because the backing on here is still a little sticky. If I haven't hopefully ruined that. Um, so, uh, so far it's, it's, I give it a, it passes, it works, and, uh, the price for this, it, uh, um, if you got kind of dirty lamps, uh, dirty lens, or not so, you know, clear lens, give this a shot, and, uh, you'll see the improvement, I, I, I do see the improvement here, um, this is, this side's really clear super clear um, this side not so clear but the yellow is gone so the yellowing has gone but it's just not uh, maybe I sanded it too much I, I doubt it it's a very it was very bad to begin with so um, I don't I don't think it's improved so it's not as yellow so Anyways, uh, okay, I guess I'll, I'll just have to do. Uh, it looks better, that's for sure. So anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, appreciate all you guys. Thank you, and uh, tune in for the next episode. Bye.